Kenton's high tonight in Grady County as turmoil involving the volunteer fire department sparks major unhappiness in the community. This is all stemming from the dismissal of the department's chief. News nice Felice Romero is with us now to break down the growing drama. It all started about a month ago when the Grady County fire chief was abruptly fired. He tells me he and several others were let go without any warning. Grady County residents are concerned following the termination of Grady County Fire Chief Perry Wenzel and several volunteer firefighters. They said either you can retire or you can resign. I said, I'm not retiring. I'm not resigning. I said, what grounds do you have? They said, they looked at me and said, we don't have no grounds. The Grady County Fire Board Chairman Stormy Duffel says Wenzel failed to fulfill his duties as county chief, but would not disclose what those duties were. Losing 17 people that night, and then they lost another 12 to 15 people who they actually resigned that night. There's no manpower in this part of the county right now. She says the board also released at least 15 other volunteer firefighters, saying they missed meetings. Which is interesting because I, I actually taught all of the medical classes, so if if my name wasn't on the roster, I was on the instructor roster. And didn't respond to calls. My husband is actually a trooper, and so a lot of times he's already on the scenes. Meanwhile, concern grows for residents as nearby departments pitch in. Scared. Very scared. You don't know how long it's going to take somebody to get there, if somebody's going to get there. The nearest ambulance is in Chickasha or in Rush Springs, and they will take at least 30 minutes to, to get to them. That's really my concern is, is what's going to happen if we really lose this little, this little fire department. Duffel says the Farwell Fire Station southwest of Ninaca remains open, despite claims from firefighters saying otherwise. Feliz Romero, Oklahoma Zone, News 9.